Welcome back guys and let's talk about Monero hard fork. So Monero hard fork was scheduled for today and today is April 6th and the hard fork happened just a few hours ago and it was successful. So Monero just now changed the algorithm from Kryptonite to Kryptonite V7 so all of those ASIC machines like the Bitmain X3 miner are now completely useless. And we are going to take a look at how much the difficulty did drop, how much we can expect profits to rise and all of that very very soon. So first let's take a look at biggest Monero mining pools and how much did the hash rate on those pools drop. We can find the full list of pools on MoneroPools.com and this is the list of them from the biggest to the smallest and you can click on the go to pool and it will take you to their own site. So first pool that we're going to take a look is supportxmr.com. You can see it on this website, and this is the hash rate before the Monero split it to Kryptonite v7, and the hash rate was 45 to about 50 mega hashes per second, and it was about that for like the last week or two. But right now, after the split happened and the Monero changed the algorithm, you can see that the hash rate actually dropped to zero. And that was just because all of the miners got disconnected and they had to connect uh, again to the new algorithm. But right now it's stable at about 22 mega hashes. So this is more than 50% drop in the hash power from 50 to 22. And this is actually really, really huge because Bitmain did mine with those miners before they decided to sell them and this is actually the proof now and they cannot say to anyone that they didn't mine with them that they just made them and decided to sell them right now they have been mining with them for months and months probably and made huge amounts of money and now they are scamming the people and selling them used miners with only six months of warranty and when those miners break you can often not even get the new miners from them they do not respond to your messages even if you bought a lot of the miners from them so bitmain is a scam it has been proven now yes if you buy the miners from them you can make the money but they make the biggest amounts of the money from everyone else and buying a used miner that will be running at about like 90 to 95 degrees at all time and having only six months of warranty is disastrous thing that you can do and it is the most likely like the older model they maybe even have the newest models developed and mining on them and they are just selling you the old junk so let's take a look at some other pools like nano pool a nano pool had like 56 to like 58 to 60 mega hashes per second but right now after the fork it dropped to 26 mega hashes per second so also we got a little bit more than 50 percent drop in the hash rate so when ASIC miners make 50% of the hash rate on any like of the biggest pools then you know why profits are low and they might be even mining every single coin without even letting us know that they have those miners and that they are making huge amounts of money and actually they are destroying the decentralization. So let's go to the next pool via xmr.com hash rate was like 10 to 12 mega hashes per second but now it is at 4 mega hashes per second so this was 66% drop in the hash rate which is the biggest drop that we have seen by now and so so that pool was full of ace pointers and it is really good to see them going uh, away so and the last pool we're going to take a look is monero dot hoswald dot pro and that pool had four mega hashes and now it dropped to one and a half mega hashes per second so also like 50 to 60 percent drop in the hash rate so now you're probably expecting profits to go up hugely like i said before i expect profits to go up like two to three hundred percent and most likely that is going to be the case but right now kryptonite v7 is giving like almost ten thousand satoshis while the Kryptonite is giving 6.7 thousand Satoshis. So Kryptonite V7 is already now 50% more profitable than Kryptonite algorithm. But if you're expecting those profits to go up like 200% in one day, that is not going to happen actually, because difficulty needs time to adjust. And Bitcoin has one adjustment every two weeks, and it takes the average hash rate in the last two weeks, and then if the 
blocks needed more than 10 minutes to form, then difficulty goes down. But if blocks needed less than 10 minutes to form in the last two weeks, then difficulty of course needs to go up, so the block would form every about an average 10 minutes. And they try to have it on every 10 minutes and they do one adjustment every two weeks. So the interesting thing how Monero does that is they have adjustment based on the last 720 blocks of Monero that have been mined. And one block on Monero is mined every 2 minutes compared to Bitcoin which is 10 minutes. But the 720 blocks take exactly 24 hours to be mined. So Monero will need at least like the one day to adjust the total mining difficulty for the Monero. So our profits can go up but that is also not going to happen in one day which should be the case but it is a little bit different when you have such a huge drop in profitability like we have seen here going from four to one and a half mega hashes so when you have like 66 percent drop in a hash rate in like a minute or two when the switching happens the network cannot adjust so fast because we still have to mine at an old difficulty and old difficulty is a lot higher now than we have the hash power. So difficulty that we have is still the same that we had when it was 4 mega hashes but now we have two times less hashing power so it will take for blocks to form something like six minutes instead of two minutes. So in worst case scenario it should take about three or four days for Monero difficulty to drop and for our profits to go up to the amount that they should be without ASIC miners. And it is adjusting really slow right now but you can see profits going up like almost every single minute and in three or four days it should all be sorted out and Monero Crypto Night V7 mining should be really really profitable. Of course until Bitmain makes Crypto Night V7 miner again and they have to go to Crypto Night V8 and again Bitmain makes a new miner and like that. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the profits that we will see when the network adjusts and see you soon in another video. Bye.